feel like that is the baby. This is such nice art. Who do I see? Dunyarzad. Oh my god, is Dunyarzad being picked up by this Knight of Favonius dude with a flower? Nah. Nah, but nah. That's actually Dunyarzad, isn't it? Clean Albedo, it's been a while, love to see it. Still no Lumine on the front, I want to sob. Kole would match really well here though. Look at these green hair besties, I love it. Ooh, ooh. Look at this, it's so crazy, isn't it? When you open the game and you see Act 6, sorry. It's just the main story, that's what this should be called, main story. Archon Quest, I guess they do call it an Archon Quest still. But it's not really an Archon Quest. <gasps> Dainsliff is an Archon? The physical Archon, the human Archon is what I've been on about. Human Archon. All right. I forgot the. I, I totally zoned out. I was. I was so in about the story. There you go. It's your boy. It's Dainsliff. And Dia has a character story too. I think we gotta go with. How the hell, Caribert? Caribert? I don't know. That first. I'm so distracted, help. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Today, finally, we have more content that's come out and we're gonna start with the Dainsliff quest, which is like, I guess, main story quest, Archon quest anyway. I can't wait. It's been so long since we've seen any Dainsliff lore. This probably involves our brother again. As you can see, I got Dia. It was painful. The pulling will be in the Dia video in a little bit. She's also stretching, just like Lumine. Great. So let's get started with Dane's quest. Apparently we have to talk to Masrur, who is currently in Port Ormos, destined encounter. He's wearing himself sick over a letter with an unclear address. I assume it is for us, because we don't live anywhere. So, also, I would not have sent me a letter. <laughs> anyway, let's get into it. Yeet. <laughs> Perfect. Wow, crazy. Hey there, champ. I know you're worrying yourself sick. Huh? Wait. You're that blonde traveler who's on a journey to all corners of Javat, right? Yeah, might be me. What's up? What you got for me? Who's asking? Do you need something from us? <laughs> you bet I do. <sighs> I was worried I wouldn't be able to find you. He doesn't seem like I have convinced. a letter for you, you see. Oh. It's from another Outlander. N never mind. That's... He knows it is for us. He was a crafty fellow, let me tell you. Uh-huh. Took advantage of a loophole in our mailing system by opting for guaranteed delivery, then filling in the most obscure mailing address I've ever seen. How is that a loophole? Well, we are always on the road, so yeah, it's pretty tough to get mail to us unless we happen to go to the post office on a whim. That's what I'm saying. Is there post offices in Tavat? So, um, what address did that person give you anyway? Hmm. This has to be some kind of funny trick. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna give it more thought. Uh, he just wrote. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, next okay. Next to a small, white-haired, talking fairy. I was going to say something descriptive of us, but that works. What? So the address is Paimon? Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Paimon's right? location. And if I failed to deliver the letter, I'd have been bound by regulation to compensate him. Yeah, well, I, that's fair. Really, he got me good. I count myself very lucky that I ran into you here. Great. Well, uh, let me see the letter. Of course. Here it is. All yours. Thanks, Masrur. Come on! Haima wants to have a look, too! Now, you're just a destination. You're not allowed to have a look. This is my letter. It's been a while. How have you been? I've heard that the two of you are traveling in Sumeru. I happen to be in Port Ormos on official business. Lately, I've been stopping by Jafar Tavern for a drink or two every afternoon. If luck's on my side, and this letter successfully reaches you, come to me then, and we can catch up on old times. We'll see it as fate and encounter. Your trusty buddy, Kaya. What? Okay. Unexpected. Kaya, huh? So he's here in Sumeru. Hmm. Now that Paimon thinks about <laughs> it, Crafty does describe him pretty well. So he ties in to the Dainsliff floor now? It only makes sense. Yeah, I can't say I'm hugely surprised. Definitely Kaya's style. From what he wrote in the letter, it looks like he didn't think there was much chance of it reaching us. I mean, yeah. Fair enough as well. Hmm. Or maybe half he's asked. just being sneaky. Hmm. He's making this sound like a miracle of fate so that we'd have to go meet up with him? Hmm, <laughs> very scheming indeed. Eh, no harm done. It'll be nice to catch up with him. Eh, yeah, you're right. It's always nice to see old friends. Mm hmm. The letter says that he hangs out at Jafar Tavern every afternoon. Perhaps every we should afternoon. jump in on him then, huh? Yeah, sure. Let's go wait for him there. Interesting. Chapter 3, Act 6. Kari, Kari Bert. Kari Bert, I don't know. Marcel, what else you got for me? A wine-scented letter? Come on, we could have, we could have told from that. This was a first for me. Uh huh. It's a good thing luck was on my side. I think it's fate, acquainted fate even that made me lose my fifty-fifty. Once more, my luck on pulling has been kind of dog water lately. I'll be honest, guys. Anyway, see you at the bar. He's right there. <laughs> He's literally right there. 
For, no, I wanted to talk to the hostess first. Damn it. For some spicy inside info on the blue haired boy. I'll have something oh. I haven't tried yet, boss. Okay. Uh, sorry, sir. I'm afraid you've already tried <laughs> every type of liquor we serve. <laughs> oh? Well then, just the bill, please. It's just as well, I suppose. I do have other matters to attend to. The, he doesn't see us yet, right? He doesn't see. We're behind him. Kaya, you're really here! Paimon half thought you were playing some no, sort of prank us. on us. Hey, Paimon. <laughs> traveler. Looks like the gods smile upon me after all. Uh-huh. And come now. I wouldn't joke about wanting to see my good friends. Mmm. <laughs> if you say so. Wait a second. You must be here on official business, right? What do you think you're doing <laughs> spending every afternoon drinking at the tavern? <laughs> you itching for a lecture from Jean? I'm wondering, what kind of official business would a knight have in Sumeru? <laughs> Not at all. The acting Grand Master positively terrifies me. <laughs> Why would I ever do anything that might displease her? Uh-huh, very believable. The truth is, I'm in Sumeru to learn about the alcohol industry here. Business, you so say? So despite how it might look, I'm actually at Jafar Tavern for strictly business purposes. Business that ties into Diluc or what? Sumeru spices are famous the world over, and it's long been rumored that this fine establishment was where a certain very popular spiced cocktail was invented. Well, you didn't get to try it, it seems. That's why the knights sent me, their foremost expert in alcoholic beverages, <laughs> to come and see if it is as good as the rumors say. That's... you're full of... you're full of dookie. And? How did that go? Why would they do that? So far, so good. I'm already in talks with some spice merchants in Port Ormos about some potential collaboration. Is there something to celebrate? Maybe I'm doing the Windbloom quest after all. Yeah, that <laughs> does sound like a great business opportunity. Guess Don Winery and Master D. Luke are gonna make a tidy sum from this one too, huh? That's what I was thinking too. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Whether this lucrative opportunity gets passed along to Don Winery or not, depends on how nice I'm feeling. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Using your job to settle personal grievances isn't very nightly, That's Captain. true. That's true. The Code will not be happy to hear this. Huh, I'm guessing you've been to Samara before. Oh? What makes you say that? You came to Sumeru all on your own, so you must be quite familiar with the place. Very sharp of you. I wouldn't say I'm familiar, I don't familiar, think that's sharp. Though. I just came here on the sly once, when I was very young. And drunk. <laughs> and I was going the wrong way, trying to get home. Hmm. Oh, flashback moments? And? Do continue. Uh? <laughs> do I have to? When I said we could talk about the old times, digging up my past wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Oh, I mean, I mean, this is interesting now. Don't worry about it, you don't have to go into great detail. Well, all right, since you're so interested. Like I said, I was very young then. Uh-huh. Don Winery had only just taken me in. Uh-huh. I overheard my adoptive father talk about sending a team of merchants to Sumeru during a business meeting. Okay. I'm sure you'll agree that everyone's curious about their roots on some level. Uh-huh. And my roots? They're in Conria. Uh-huh. Which is said to have been located <laughs> deep underground, somewhere near Sumeru. Really? Look at our face. We are really thinking about this. There's so much time between every Dane arc that I never remember. I never remember what happened in the last part, so I don't I don't know anything about it anymore. I need a refresher every time. Conria, huh? And so I stowed myself away amidst the cargo and silently joined the merchant delegation on their trip to Sumeru. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't long before the merchant delegation received news that I'd gone missing. Right. Their leader promptly found me, and before I knew it, <laughs> my adoptive father was dragging me back home by the ear. Fair enough. It was a short-lived adventure. Sorry I don't have a more thrilling story for you. I liked it. I liked it. It was cool. Speaking of Conria, how much do you know about it? Honestly, not much. The only reason I knew that Conria was near Sumeru is because I happened to read that in a book when I was young. Uh, oh, I... Hello? My life had less and less to do with Conria as I grew up, and so I started caring less as well. Yeah, fair enough. When I moved away from my place of birth when I was very young as well, I went back 15 years later, and I thought I'd be so interested as well, but I, I feel this. It just wasn't as interesting anymore because you have nothing to do with the place, essentially. I used to believe that I had inherited some sort of duty from my father. Uh-huh. But then I began to wonder, 
Maybe my father left me in the peaceful land of Mondstadt for no other reason than simply to give me a happier life. Very fair and true. A happy life sounds good to me, of course, even if it means being cut off from certain things. Uh huh. This is obviously all speculation. Simply put, I'm afraid that I'm not particularly in the know on this topic. Well, the dude that's eavesdropping on us does know more. These days, my surname, Albrecht, is probably the only link to Conria that I have left. Oh my god, he heard it. Dane heard this. Albrecht. One death afternoon, oh. please, boss. <laughs> he just sits down with us? Nah, but this is this is ridiculous. Nah, this is too much. This is how is it so casual? I I I I love this, first of all. But also, do they know each other? This is Tell me. What do you know about the significance of that name? <laughs> Albrecht. <laughs> what the hell? Dane Hello. Ah, you've decided to join us. They do I was know each other. wondering how long you planned on listening in. They don't know each other. I believe I've seen you before in Mondstadt. Danesliff, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, Paimon did just say the name, so it's not that impressive, but sure. <laughs> okay, he knew he was eavesdropping. That's kind of crazy. So you remember me. What? Then we are already acquainted. Kaya Albury. Descendant of the Abyss Order's founder. <laughs> Give me a second. Give me, I need to process all this. Descendant of the Abyss Order's founder? Huh? The Abyss Order? What? This is the fattest lore dump anyone... What? It's at the start of the quest? I take How can it this peak? You weren't aware of this until now, Kaya. Or you wouldn't have been so forthcoming with your surname. <laughs> oh my. That's quite a lot of baggage for a surname, That's what I'm it? thinking. Though I must say, it does confirm an old suspicion of mine. Oh. I suppose that was why my father left me in Mondstadt after all. Okay. I'm surprised that you take me at my word without the faintest hint of skepticism. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. It could just be complete garbage, but I feel like a guy dressed like this would lie about something like that? Nah, nah, nah. Well, perhaps what you told me just happens to answer some questions I carry in my memories. Mm-hmm. And in any case... I recognize your eyes. Oh my god. You're a pure blood Conrian, aren't you? Uh, a pure blood? What, Kai's half blood? Conrian dad and then Monstadian mom? Very clever. <clears throat> Forgive me for being direct, but I sincerely hope this new knowledge doesn't change anything. <laughs> if you've already let go of your ties to the past, then keep it that way. Oh my. Kaya, you're not involved with the Abyss Order in any way. That's what he just said. No. Hey, hold on now. This conversation has taken a rather sudden turn for the deadly serious. <laughs> and I'm afraid that as someone from Mondstadt, I'm not accustomed to this sort of atmosphere. Fair enough. So what if I know my ancestry? Do I strike you as the type who would be bound by that kind of thing? Oh my god, remove the eye patch. He has a Dane-colored eye. Imagine. Relax. I'll be just as delighted to hunt down the Abyss Order tomorrow as I have always been. <laughs> what? I think, I guess, what? No, I trust him. Either way, looks like we're out of time. Oh. I've got a spice merchant oh. to meet in a minute, <laughs> so I'll leave the three of you to carry on the conversation without me. No! Uh, Don't tell me that's well, all of it. Alright then! You go do your thing, Kaya! Don't tell me that's the other Kaya already. See you around. And Dainsliff, no need to listen in from the sidelines next time we meet. <laughs> Let me buy you a drink. Oh, the atmosphere is so tense. <laughs> you don't really trust him, do you, Dane? Nah. You're both from Conria, but you get on like oil and water. The fact is, I still do not know him well. Uh-huh. It would be meaningless for me to jump to conclusions. This is so random. But can a person truly be unaffected by their ancestry? Yes. This remains to nah, be seen. Nah, easy yes. Easy yes. I would say I'm an example. So, you said that Aubrey found the Abyss Order? I thought my sibling was the founder. No, <laughs> no. Well, I suspect or is that, that they call is your he brother Aubrey? their prince, precisely because there is a succession of sorts. Uh huh. Oh, so if he was the founder, he'd be the king, right? Fair. So, what do you plan to do in Samara? I mean to investigate the Loom of Fate. I do remember that. Do you remember that name? Yes. I actually do. It's the, when people are like weaving the truth into. It was fake, though. Anyway. Yeah, the Abyss Order's <laughs> evil plan! Yeah. We learned about that back in Mondstadt. You got a new lead? Not new, 
Not exactly. My memories suffer from erosion. Oh, no. But while I was recovering my health recently, I suddenly remembered something. Right. Your brother. He mentioned the Loom of Fate back when we traveled together. Okay. All the way back then? That was already a thing several centuries ago? Apparently so. I was also quite surprised when these memories tallied up. I recall that we were traveling to Sumeru when the matter was brought up. It's kind of odd, no, though, that he supposedly forgets this stuff and remembers it. Isn't it rough to trust someone that has, like, memory issues like he has right now? I don't know. I want to trust him, but in the end, what do we know about him? So, you're going to the place that he mentioned back then. Did he mention anything? Correct. At that time, they must have been introduced in one way or another to this concept. Right. If I recall correctly, we were somewhere in a Vidya forest then. Okay. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Maybe we'll discover some secret that's lain hidden for hundreds of years! Sure? No. Uh, now is not the time. Okay, are you concerned about the Abyss Order, or are we waiting for the perfect moment? No, it's just... Uh, we're being eavesdropped on. I'm still waiting for my drink. <laughs> fair enough. Seriously? Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> After Dane finishes his drink, you prepare to travel to Avidia Forest. Wow, that is crazy though. That's how this starts? I'll bribe you with nice cooking, what I get, what I get. Oh, fish with cream sauce, thank you my queen. Anyway, <laughs> to Avidia Forest we go. Mm. Wait, no way, is this the place I marked down? It is, cool place. <laughs> I remember, I saw, mm. maybe it has a consequence. I, I seriously thought this was a scenic place, so I marked it down, and apparently it's somewhere where lore Wait, has something. This place, Look, it's familiar. I marked that down. I'm pretty sure in the Sumeru exploration, it already has the marker. Cool place. In that video. What about it? It looks pretty normal to Paimon. Was it like this hundreds of years ago too? Maybe. Yes. The forest has barely changed from how I remember it. Cool. There is very little human activity here, after all. There's a lot of Adonada activity. Let's search the area and see what we can find. Okay. Pigs? Mostly, <laughs> as far as I'm is aware. This a field? Uh-huh. It must belong to whoever owns that house over there. Sure. But it looks like it's been abandoned for a long time. You could be forgiven for thinking nothing was ever grown here. Right. Or, wait, maybe nothing ever was here. I'm pretty sure I fought a whopper flower that grew out of this at some point. <laughs> what do you find? It's an extinguished bonfire. Forest rangers, perhaps? I, I, investigator Paimon? Looks like it's been ages since it was last lit. And clearly they put it out carefully to prevent a forest fire, <laughs> too. That's responsible. They left their soup, though. Nothing else stands out in this area. All that's left is that building. Come on. Oh. Wait. We're just gonna go barging in? Uh-huh. What if someone's home? We'll say sorry. Unlikely. There are no signs of life in this area. We should be able to enter without incident. We, I have to say it again, like, he has the same cape as what Paimon has. They, they have to, they have to have some kind if of link. If you say so, well, uh, you lead the way then, Dane. <laughs> <laughs> as if he cares. This is so intriguing. What's that? Can we open the leaves? No. That's so cool. No shot. Was this always openable? This is so cool. I'm playing with a door and it's interesting. So there really isn't anyone home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this place is so dusty. Uh huh. Paimon bets no one's lived here in years. Shocker. Anything Investigate else? Investigate carefully. Uh huh. We mustn't miss a single detail. I see a pestle and mortar with something inside. Hey, look! It's a bowl! Guess whoever used to live here like to cook, huh? I guess so. Can't you smell it? There's a heavy oh. scent of medicinal herbs in here. Uh-huh. Oh, so it's a medicine bowl? Mm. Uh, I wouldn't have thought of Seems cooking either, right. to be honest, in this You've hut. you got a good nose on you, Dane. you just got a tiny brain. You're just got. Maybe I do too. <laughs> What's this now? There's a box over here. Why don't we open it? Uh, and by we, Paimon means you. Uh-huh. Paimon's just scared that whatever's inside might bite her fingertips off. What in the world is going through your head? You're sure going place with your paranoia. Chomp. Huh? This is... a mirror. It's broken. It's bad luck. It's broken, too. Was this a makeup box? I don't know. 
Ah, oh, that does not. I do not like the look of that. Huh. It's just a regular mirror. It looks broken. Yeah, I don't think it's regular at all. Hmm. That's kind of disappointing. Paima was hoping we'd uncover some super big secret, <laughs> especially after Dane talked this place up. I mean, maybe it is. We just don't see it. Maybe it is a gigantic big secret. A bed. Used for sleeping. That looks pretty ordinary. Huh. There's nothing underneath it either. Looks pretty good. What sort of person would want to live here? It's so dark and damp. Can't be all that comfortable. Someone is trying to hide. Someone's trying to hide, Paimon. <laughs> Doesn't look like there's anything else worth their attention here. You sure we're in the right place, Dane? I'm not sure. My memories are quite foggy. But my subconscious and instincts both assert that oh. something once happened here. Under the carpet. Trapped or under carpet. But we'll exhaust ourselves if we search aimlessly. Hmm. <laughs> I hear noises outside. No. Let's go and check. Under the carpet, Dane. Noises? Is it? Yeah, the owner were dead. It's not much. Just some minor adversaries. <laughs> Just some minor adversaries. What a way to put it. Just a minor setback. Come on, this is so suspicious. Look at it. There's a big shape on it. Is it the shape of a, of a wish? Yep, that's it. Guys, it's under this trapdoor bed. Sit. Shut up, bird. Annoying ass, bird ass. Monsters? Really? Wow. Monsters, you say? Just like his nose. I'm I'm halfway done already with the monster beat up thing. Oh! Gotcha. That is not the button I try to press. Whoops. Dane, I killed the things. I doubt that the appearance of those monsters was wholly random. Mm. There must be something nearby that attracted them. Under the carpet. A ley line anomaly, perhaps. <gasps> hmm. But it seems to be more than that. Maybe the Abyss Order is sending them at us, because they know we're on their track. Okay. I'll go slightly further out to investigate any issues with the nearby ley lines. Okay. I might be a while. You should wait for me here. This is the end of the quest. What? We'll never You're see him again. Alone? I think he is. Your suspicions are as banal as they are unwarranted. <laughs> I merely think that this house should remain the focus of our investigation. And as such, someone ought to stay here and keep an eye on it. How? Why? This thing has apparently been abandoned for 500 years. And people are like, yeah, don't you should maybe, you know, someone comes home. Not to mention that if even forest rangers are capable of investigating ley lines, uh -huh. I will be more than able to handle it alone. Okay, dude. <sighs> Fair enough. Guess we'll just camp out here then. Sure. Yeah. Good thing there's a fireplace over there. Let's make ourselves something <laughs> to eat. All this running around has made Paimon real hungry. Does Paimon only eat every time we do a story quest? So like once a month? <laughs> I understand that she's hungry all the time. Light the bonfire. Oh, well, this is what you pull for D. The only reason. Oh, got him. You and Paimon make a fire. And before you know it, night sets in. Oh, wow. Look at that. How scenic fire. Cooking is as good as ever. Thanks, Paimon. Even if there was no other reason, the food alone would be enough for Paimon to stick with you. Wow. <laughs> well, freeloading comes more naturally to you than to most. You're easy to please. Changing the subject. Dane's taking forever. Uh huh. He said that there might be an issue with the nearby ley lines. How bad do you think it could be? Not very bad. <sighs> we came together, but now it's back to just <laughs> being the two of us again. Uh huh. You know. Now that Baima mentions it, mm -hmm. we really have spent lots and lots of time together, haven't we? You know, Paimon, when you say this, it kind of feels like the halfway checkpoint. Which, in timeline-wise, seems pretty accurate. Um, so... Oh? Don't take this the wrong way or anything, <laughs> but... Uh... Do, do you ever get tired of Paimon being... <laughs> Look at her face! She's so tiny! Nah, Paimon, even if you're... I do get tired of you sometimes, but I wouldn't I wouldn't say that. You make my day, Paimon. Oh, you stop it! <laughs> now you're embarrassing, Paimon. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, cute. Um, next question. Don't know if it's okay to ask this, but... Oh. Paimon's curious. What was it like traveling with your brother? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Cutscene? The... Uh, stars? <laughs> I didn't say anything. We'd gaze at the stars, just like this. And we'd point at the planets we wanted to visit. That's so cool. That's so bro- What kind of life is that? They were just on holiday the entire time. What was their goal? 
I think we're the evil ones. Wow. <laughs> we travel through the universe, always by each other's side. We saw all manner of hope and despair. This is the first time we've ever been separated. If nothing else, I just want to know what happened. Yeah. Paimon understands. Being separated without even knowing the reason why. It's just terrible. I think you get over it. I, yeah. But we'll find the truth together. Sure as Paimon's your guide. Just you wait, Heavenly Principles. And you too, Tavat. <laughs> and you wait, Heavenly Principles. And you too, Tavat. About this sad stuff. Yeah, Let's maybe. Let's talk about something happy instead, because if you're sad, Paimon will be too. I had to worry about it a little bean. All right, all right. It's getting dark, so why don't you rest? <laughs> Paimon will take first watch. Don't worry, no monster's gonna come and eat you up. Oh, this is a first. Paimon not going to bed before me? It is odd. Why is Paimon so caring all of a sudden, huh? Oh, come on! Don't say that. <laughs> Paimon just wants to look after you for once. All right. Good night then, Paimon. Nighty night. Go on, chew. Off to sleep. <laughs> Memories of your sibling fill your mind as you fall soundly asleep. I don't care about the sibling anymore. <laughs> I don't care anymore. I just want to know what's happening in Tavat. I get maybe our brother is the reason all this stuff is happening in Tavat. So. Hey, time to wake up. Hey, the sun has risen. You're back. Hello. You didn't even crouch down. You're gonna make me look at your knees. I'm happy he's back. Dot dot dot. Hello, Dane? What a deep sleeper. You do know that we need to... To... Hmm? Tear stain. <laughs> you dreamed of your sibling last night, didn't you? Stop bullying me! All right. Rest here a bit longer then. No. I'll head into the forest to investigate. No, wait. I want to come too. Dane, no! Huh? Where are you going back to the forest? Where's Paimon? Oh my god, we yawned. It was voice acted. The yawn is crazy. Hmm. Why did I sleep till morning? Why didn't Paimon wake me up to switch shifts? Hang on a moment. Where is Paimon anyway? Ah. I vaguely remember Dane coming over. Did Paimon go into the woods with him? Seeing how I hadn't woken up yet? Whatever the case. Looks like it's just me for now. I guess it's time to stretch my limbs and have a look around. That's just birds. Did that noise come from inside the house? Paimon? Is that you? No reply. I should go inside and check. What? Star Cross Knight. Guys, we don't have Paimon? Wait, I might ruin the immersion. Oh, I can't do it. It's a do look, it's literally a domain or like a You see the map? I think we're locked into this area. That's that's weird. We don't have Paimon. Ew. Ew. Hello? Ew, we don't have Paimon. It feels Ugh. icky. What do you think you're doing? Intimidating man. Ah! You startled me! This place is not whatever you think it is. <laughs> Nor should you be poking your nose into my business. Be gone! Be gone! Th hey, hey, hey. Calm down there. Calm down. I'm only here to look for my traveling companion. Your travel companion? You mean... The one that was keeping watch by your side last night. <laughs> hey, Creepo, were you were you were spying on me? He has the same eyes as Dane, by the way. He's Conrian. Your companion departed for the forest early this morning. That much I saw with my own eyes. <laughs> okay. Hmm, I thought so. Still, I don't know if I can trust this person's word just yet. So you mean to say that you were nearby last night? What? Business is that of yours? You're mm -hmm. spying on me. All you need to know is that I claimed this place first. That's not how it works. And what I do here is none of your concern. You can't just claim a place, intimidating man. Do I make myself quite clear? No. Leave. No. Hmm. There's something strange about this person. I need to find out what he's hiding. Well? What are you waiting for? I don't think I have much luck trying to find my companion in the woods. I'm better off waiting here for them to come back. <sighs> if you must, suit yourself. I will, in fact, suit myself. <laughs> I've been observing you. Uh huh. And you don't look like a forest ranger, nor someone right. from the academia. You're still right. Still, I'm warning you. <laughs> 
No Proud baby pose. funny business. Mm -hmm. Promise me that, and you can do as you please. Uh, I'm no villain, nor will I pretend to be a saint. Okay, <laughs> fine. Whatever. Just move aside. I'm heading in. We're so annoying. I love it. May I join you? I was out here all night. I'm cold. You... <laughs> yes. Oh, go on then. Have it your way. Uh -huh. I knew I wasn't going to be able to hide this anyway. Mm. Just, just come in. Thanks. But no overreacting to anything you see in here, okay? Uh-huh. Yeah. You understand me? Yeah, sure. Relax. I've been around. It takes a lot to phase me. Come on, then. Oh. Oh. I don't know what he was. This man hiding carpet. Let me... Who's sleeping there? It's a Hillichurl. Hillichurl's sleeping on the bed. That won't phase me. He's trying to cure it. Bro, it's like some of his family or something. <laughs> How did I not get through? He's curing Hillichurls. I'm not going to be shocked. No, Lumine, come on. A Hillichurl? Mind your own <laughs> business. And don't worry. He isn't aggressive. I believe him. I believe you. Absolutely. How could he be? He was too young for anything like that. See, he was talking about before he became Hillichurl. So don't before you lay the curse. a finger on him. Just find yourself a corner to rest if you're tired cold i'm neither i was just intrigued merely so i'm going to keep asking questions if you don't mind i saw your eyes you're from conria aren't you huh yeah you know conria uh-huh who are you uh -huh. exactly and how do you know i'm from conria uh i am sister of leader of the abyss believe it or not <laughs> just a traveler but i've met others from conria your eyes <sighs> Gave it away. Do you worship a god, <laughs> traveler? <laughs> well, this is cool. I follow no god. In fact, I count some of them as my foes. That's very Conria like. Ooh, friends? Friends is like. He wouldn't, he wouldn't like this. I think he'd like this. Hmm. Sounds like you've had an eventful life. Uh huh. <laughs> Alright, well. Aid? Um, Aid? My name is Ida. Ida? And. You are correct. I was once Conrian. He doesn't seem like a bad person. Uh, oh, I, I apologize for my earlier hostility, but you it's must okay. understand. I as, do. As far as I'm concerned, humans who do not worship the Seven are nigh extinct. Yeah, yeah. And all who place faith in the gods are my enemies. Yeah, see, that's why I didn't say some of them are my friends. <laughs> I, I figured... Uh, that sounds a little too black and white, but spoken like a true Conrian. That may be. But the fact is that chances to talk to people like yourself have been few and far between since the Cataclysm. Yeah, I can imagine. But this dude old, Ben, he mad old. This wretched curse oh. of immortality. Look. Who knows how long I must continue to suffer like this. I, I'm not entirely sure, because we know about Hillitrol's now. Either he used to be Hillitrol or something, or he's just exactly like Dane. It's kind of crazy, though. What is the curse of immortality exactly? Uh, this is easy. I take it that's how you survive for so long. That also is obvious. The curse. <laughs> it was a little gift yeah. given to the people of Conria by those vile gods. I... I don't know, I still... The Seven always feel a bit icky to me, still. Uh, maybe I want them to be evil, because that'd be a really interesting plot, but I, I tend to side by Conrian if I had a choice. We lost our home. Our loved ones. Everything! The agony of the cataclysm itself was already too much to bear but then came the curse robbing us any chance of release i can imagine them being like let's make the conrians immortal so that they can rebuild or something like it was meant positively i don't know <laughs> i don't know all we can do is watch helplessly as our souls erode and our bodies Decay. Yeah, worded like that, it doesn't sound like it's very positive. So, Ida is just like Dane, someone who bears the curse of immortality. So, why did some people turn into Hillitros? Well, you were afflicted by this curse instead. Okay, so there is a difference. 
Because... Although Conria began with a single bloodline, mm -hmm. it was a home to others, too. So you're from a noble bloodline, just like Dane. Any who forsook their gods and came to Conria were welcomed as our fellow citizens. And I assume they became Hilichos. When the Cataclysm came, we pure blood Conrians were declared the greater sinners okay it's definitely not possible upon <laughs> us the gods placed the curse of immortality yeah okay but those whose ancestry belonged to the domains of yeah. other gods were punished with the curse of the wilderness as they fled turning them into monsters no do you think he put this on him so he would know which one it is so who is this hillatrol to you I, I'm worried it's like, he's a pure blood Conrian, he found a non-pure blood, or like a, a, an outsider, maybe partner, and this is his son. Please don't be true. He is Kari Bear. Oh no! My... <laughs> oh no! Legitimate son. No! Kari Bear, that's what Kari Bear, he pronounced it very French. This is the name of the quest. <sighs> How times have changed. <laughs> Could say that out loud with no consequence now, but oh, it was once a matter of unspeakable shame. Yeah, I was a noble of Conria. Mm -hmm. I resented the life that my family had arranged for See? me. See, he found a non, a non noble, a non full blood. And then one See? day, See? <laughs> I met a beautiful woman amongst the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her roots were in Mondstadt, but mm -hmm. that mattered not to me. Yep. It was love at first sight. Damn. <laughs> Kari Bear faced great hardship from the very moment of his birth. Mm -hmm. All due to my selfish desires, and, and I was never able to be there by his side for any of it. Man. After all that, he turned oh, into no. a hilly troll right before my very eyes. No. I always owed him much, and now I, at least I can finally be close to him. What happened to his mother? I assume also became a hilly troll based on what happens to non nobles. She was. Oh. Uh, or she died during the war. <laughs> we were separated. Yeah. I do not wish to dwell on it. I apologize. <laughs> It could be worse. I suffer the pain of loss because I once had everything I could wish for. That's a pretty good mindset. <laughs> and now, now that I have lost almost everything, the little that remains, I see with new clarity. Yeah. I mean, I'm glad he's, he's taking this approach. If nothing else... At least I still have Curry Bear. Yeah, poor little guy. What's your plan now? It's the same question. The choice of illusion. The illusion of choice. Ah, oh, yes. I, that reminds me. I I only returned here to check on Curry Bear, but mm -hmm. I do have other things I wish to do. You may come with me. If, if you're uh, so inclined. Where was he, though, when we just visited? I'll go with him. This is super intriguing. Over here. Oh, this table just spawned too. A crafting bench? What are you going to use this for? I'm sure you're wondering why I brought Karibar here to Sumeru. Where are you? <laughs> You've become invisible. Well, it's because he needs a medicine that can only be made here. I see. That's why the Pestle and Mortar was there, huh? One which will help him to recover his clarity of mind. Is it an invisibility potion, perchance? Recover his clarity of mind? When we were in the chasm, Dane said that the curse could not be undone. Is recovery really possible? I mean, maybe it just becomes a sentient hilotro, or like, you know, memories recovered. I do not hope to break the curse. Yeah. I am well aware of my powerlessness against the punishment of the gods. I hate that he's not here. But it is said... That this medicine is imbued with the power of Sumeru's god of wisdom and can awaken the mind from a state of deep stupor. Yeah. It has been used in the past to treat cases of mania. Okay. Mm, maybe Nihi would help. I believe but he wouldn't that want it her might to help, just I bet. Work. 
Although, it is a different god, supposedly, from the one from 500 years ago, so... Where'd you hear this? I read about it in a book. <laughs> from the Royal Library of Conria. Uh-huh. It was banned. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, That's more than a little this bit. this medicine requires the power of the Seven to work. I happen to be friends with the He, if you want. In my youth, I... I disliked the life of nobility mm -hmm. and craved excitement. Yeah. I was leafing through some forbidden text and happened upon it. Uh, it feels like that always happens, huh? You know, there must have been a reason he was banned. It sounds kind of dangerous. <laughs> what other choice do I have? Hmm? I don't know, what exactly man. would you have me do, huh? I don't know. I can't even see you, so. The gods have already punished us. What does one more sin matter now? I guess you're right. Don't get too worked up. You have to try. Never mind. As uh, long as you understand. Uh-huh. I'm sorry. It's okay. I struggle to take control of my moods. Uh, I can imagine you would go uh, nuts living forever. the consequence of having lived too long. Yeah. <laughs> as it happens. I am in dire need of some help to make this medicine. Okay. My hands don't have the dexterity they once did. Sure. I, uh, I fear they may be decaying from within. Fair enough. Oh, thanks to this curse of immortality. Uh-huh. Hmm. Okay. To start with, uh, take this ingredient. Which one? I, I can't see what you're pointing at. <laughs> oh, it's a Ruka Shafa Shafa Red Edition Mushroom. A mushroom? I've never seen a mushroom of this kind before. Uh, also, uh, do you have any uh, of uh, Sumeru's regional specialties on hand? Yeah, I do, actually. I believe they're called Kalpalata lotuses and Sumeru roses. I saw a Sumeru rose over here, and I guess there's the lotus. I've picked some before, oh, yeah. Wonderful! Oh, in, in that case, we have everything we need. Okay. This is the method for what? making the medicine. Did he appear? You just need to follow the steps. Deal. Hmm. Mini game? Over here. Learn how to craft stuff. A crafting bit. What? Hello? Again? I'm sure you're wondering why I brought Karibari. We, we just had this chat. Well, this quest is mad glitched. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, let me try and fix this. I have no idea what's happening right now. Or it's Samsara? Maybe it's intentional. Maybe it's intentional. Let's just play through it for a little bit. Although this is the exact same so far. To break the curse. <laughs> what regional specialties on Yep. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's fixed. He's back. It was not a Samsara. It was it was a glitch in the matrix, if anything. Without your help, oh, goodness knows how long this would take me. Fair. Thank you. Uh, no problem, Ida. Craft. Earth and water, wind and fire, craft for me what I desire. Nameless taboo medicine of the royal court. We are going to be on the hit list after this. Can mushrooms really grow in a field like this? And these are just classics. I'll make it as Lumine. Oh, well, you, I give Kaya the blame. <laughs> Kaya did it. He's from Connor. He's legally allowed to. The smell of this stings your nose and will not easily fade. According to the records, the medicine requires the power of the gods of wisdom to awaken the adult mind. Perhaps it might be able to resist the curse. I should have crafted it with Nihi. I'm stupid. I could have saved this guy's kid. The sickness onto near death. Here you go. Oh, Is he he's done? there. Nice. Oh, splendid. Let me see. Here you go. He's gonna munch on it himself. <laughs> In all honesty, I do not know what the end product is supposed to look like. Uh -huh. <laughs> the band book didn't feature any illustrations. All right. Well, well, the moment has finally arrived. Curses. Curses. <laughs> Excuse me. Is it time to give Caribert the medicine? No. no. We need to perform one final step to complete. The medicine. Blessing from the wisdom of God. I said before that this medicine yeah. relies on the, the power of, God. of the God of Wisdom backwards. for its restorative effects. <laughs> I might need some medicine myself, it sounds like. Which means we must pay a visit to a statue of the Seven. Yeah, it can't be easy for someone from Kanya. I understand your reluctance. Since he needs the God of Wisdom's power, should I get Nahida to help? I thought that too. He would not want that. 
Forget it. He hates the gods. It could complicate things. I'll just do it his way. Let's go. Bring the medicine with you. Okay. I'm gonna be caught and, like, jailed for illegal working with things. Uh, this is very cool, though, that we are f roaming freely without Paimon. And we're kind of... Okay, we're, we're region locked, but this is incredibly cool. I kind of usually dislike restrictions, but it feels especially cool right now. Whoop. I'm Look healing. Look at this statue. How can I bow before this thing? I can do it if you want. God of wisdom! Look at me! <laughs> Look at me. I will utter no prayer, nor will I sing your praises. Uh-huh. You and your kind destroyed my home. Wrought unfathomable suffering on my compatriots, yet... Uh -huh. Here I stand before you. Right. You, you cannot mock me more than fate itself already has. Uh-huh. God of wisdom, I seek not to disavow myself of the sinful blood that flows through my veins. I wish only to beseech you to have pity upon a young and unfortunate soul. Yeah. My son. Caribert. Caribert. He was turned into a monster before he had the chance to witness anything beautiful in this world. Yep. This is no fate for a child. I agree with him. <laughs> He's right. Save him. If everything the gods have done was in order to have the impious people of Conry bow their heads, uh -huh. then I bow to you now. I really hope for this guy that it works out, because this would be un uh, like unlivable if he does it, and then that it doesn't change anything. <laughs> I have given up all I ever stood for. Uh huh. All I ask is for a tiny miracle, for Caribert to see this world once more. Yeah. Please, God. I beg of you. Damn. Pain. I may not know the whole truth behind the cataclysm, but the people of Conria have truly suffered. Why could Conria and the Seven not coexist in peace? I have made quite enough of a fool of myself for one day. Let's go. Yeah. Things will get better. <laughs> I hope so, anyway. Kind of an ambitious thing to say. In this situation. This is deep and sad. I, th I think this might be the person I felt the worst for. And he didn't even die yet. Yet? The involvement of a child always makes it even worse. I guess Rue also had a, a rude arc. A painful arc. Here we are. Hello, Curry Bear. Curry Bear? He is sound asleep. Eltro seems almost lifeless. Its reaction to everything are incredibly weak. Well, we've prepared the medicine. Yeah. We might as well try it. Let's see how this works out. With your help, I'd have freeze the newly made medicine to the, or feeds. Kari Bear, it's me. <laughs> it's your father. Kari Bear. Uh, anything? Kari Bear, please say something. You think this medicine has like instant effect? Maybe you need some time. Dot, dot, dot. I'm sorry I couldn't be at your side when you were born. No. And that I... I failed to reach you and Mama in time when you both were suffering. No. But I'm here now. Papa's been by your side all these years. I've never left you, not once. Oh, God. Are you still angry with me, Kari Bear? I know you're awake now. Do you Stop. not want to talk to me? Stop. Stop. I'm so sorry, Kari Bear. Forgive me. Please, say something, anything. <laughs> this poor man is completely crazy. Please. Please. It, stop. It, it, it didn't work. God. No, don't do something stupid now. Oh, gods above. What more do you want from me? I don't know. You took everything from here, and I still bowed to you yep i give you my very life if only you cared to take it but you won't even let me die yeah 
It, it probably is it. the worst curse, huh? I should never have trusted anything that had to do with the gods. I was <laughs> just eluding myself. Yeah, you had hope. The gods of this world have never stood with humanity, not even for a moment. I don't know. I don't know. Calm down, Ida. I forgot how to pronounce your name. There might be other reasons it didn't work. Uh, other reasons? What do you mean? Uh, such as, who knows, perhaps the dosage was too low, or maybe it takes full course of treatment. Huh. You, uh, you really think so? You gotta exhaust all options, uh, unless you really are ready to give up on your son. Give up? No, no, n never! Uh, yes, you're right. I, <laughs> I, I cannot let myself wallow in despair. All right, that's the mindset. Even if I must stay here with him for <laughs> 50 years, uh, 100, I, what difference does it make? I, I do not lack for time. Yeah, that's the spirit. I'll keep helping you. To have infinite time, yet no hope, can only be called torture. <laughs> Stop! I understand, it's a reference to us. We have infinite time and no hope, I get it. <clears throat> Let's go. We'll make another dose. Yeah, sure. <laughs> the most crucial ingredient that in mushroom. this medicine is the unusual yeah. mushroom, which makes things <laughs> complicated, <laughs> but not impossible. Where'd you get those mushrooms from, anyway? I grow them. Really? <laughs> in that field. In a field, like a crop. The details don't matter, right? <laughs> <laughs> Curb your curiosity and just do as I instruct. If you truly wish to help me, that is how you can do it. Fine. There is a waterfall near the statue I prayed at. I need you to collect some water from there around uh, two in the afternoon. Okay, this is like Aranata Tech. I'll be here watching Curry Bear. Once you're back, I will make some fertilizer for the mushrooms. Got it. Good. Then and please head over. When the time comes. Deal. Time passes quickly. Before you know it, it is two in the afternoon. Hello. I'm talking to your son. Hello, my son. You are a son of this world, so also mine. Please fetch the water. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. I'm going. Jeez. It's weird <laughs> how long Paimon and Dane have been gone, though. It's odd. It does feel very empty without Paimon. Which, honestly, wouldn't even be bad. It just, you gotta get used to it, you know? Watch me die of fall damage and the quest here. Ah, it is kind of crazy, though, no? The direction we're going on with this? This poor dude and his kid? I don't know. If you had to pick a side, would you pick the gods or Pondria? I feel like there's just also so much we don't know. I love it, though. I love that it's it's very slowly unfolding Conria lore. And I think nothing will ever make sense. <laughs> Until we get all the puzzle pieces. And even then, oh, who back. knows? Maybe some of our lies. Uh, Bear's condition is stable. Okay. Good. By which I mean he still isn't responding. That's never mind. It's bad. <laughs> anyway, give me the water. Here you go, dude. Look at this little bucket. Look at this beautiful art. Strange mushroom watering water. Here you go. Blessed water. The power of Nihi. Ada carefully waters his field. I need you to stand guard here for a, a while. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't let any forest rangers approach the house. Understand? Of course. Your secret's safe with me. Ah, good. I'll be back soon. The fertilizer won't take but a moment to make. Okay. You wait in the field for Ed to return. After a while. Oh no, monsters and so many of them. There's like three. Looks like they're coming for his field. Does watering the field somehow attract monsters? Hmm. Better fend them off. Lumi looked so cool there. I think it's the mushroom it. itself. <laughs> as much as I want to use Dia, I cannot burn the field. Beep, weed, beep, weed, weed. Got him. Ida, you're back. I missed you. What happened? Was it monsters? Yes, but I have defeated them easily. As I am the AMC, I've also been longing to find my... <laughs> it starts long as monologue. <laughs> oh, thank goodness you were here. Mm -hmm. I... Couldn't have taken them on all by myself. I'd have to uh, hide and wait until they were gone. Well, that wasn't the case, so you're good. Oh, yes, uh, I've got the fertilizer. Great. The effects can take some time to kick in, so let's get on with it. All right, chop, chop. I just press the fertilizers evenly. 
be for a little bit of elemental energy. Next, blah, 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 blah. pick the mushrooms and repeat the same steps as before to make another dose. Uh -huh. <laughs> I trust you still remember the method. Yeah, I need <laughs> some mirror rose, a little flower. You yeet it on the crafting bench. Boop, and it's done. Boop, 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 and there we go. And we go to the crafting bench. And we do a little bit of this. Okay, this time I will make it with godly powers. Trust me, it will work. Nihihi. You can only do this quest if you have Nihihi. But literally, a god made it. There's no alternative. This has to work. And if it doesn't, you were reading a book of myths. That's how it works. Wait! I knew I put Nihita in the party. I need to put Nihita in the party. Remind me. You can't remind me. It's a video. Medicine's ready. Hey, stop daydreaming. Oh, uh, sorry. I just, uh, after resting in this field for a while, uh -huh. my thoughts began to wander. That's fair enough. I have been so very wary for many years. If only I could fall asleep here in this field and yeah. never wake up again. This curse denies you even this, but you still have Caribe? <laughs> I do indeed. That's why it was just a f fleeting thought. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your help once again. Of course. And now for the final step. Back to the statue of the seven. Ugh. Blech. Blech. Oh, I can't switch. I can't switch. I can't put in the heat. I was, I was worried I wouldn't be able to. We're missing out on some spicy additions. Like his thoughts. I wish we heard his thoughts. And Caribert. Maybe Caribert would have thoughts. We're here. That'd be crazy. Let's begin. Uh huh. Oh. Huh. Wait a moment. Hey. What was that? Cory Bear! Uh, what? He left the house? Oh no! He must have left while we were too busy preparing the medicine to notice! Maybe that means the medicine works? Come on! We have to catch up with him! Oh man, but I made it with Nahida this time. Oh! Wait, it completely- it's still in this? Oh my god. Follow the hill trail. I'm on it. Is this the cave? Wait, this leads to the chasm, doesn't it? Yeah. That's crazy. Hello? That's... Oh. That's not Cory Bear. Yeah, no silk scarf around his arm. Oh, right. And Cory Bear's scarf was a gift I once gave to his mother. Mm -hmm. I use it now as a marker of sorts. Yeah, figured. My... My eyes must be going. <laughs> How could I not recognize my Come own on. son? <laughs> <laughs> this decrepit body of mine. Uh, you can't blame yourself for that. <sighs> Still, though, this Hillitrol, there's something strange about it. Ah, yes. It doesn't seem interested in us in the least. Yeah. It seems intent on walking in that direction. Yeah. Where could it be going? I got no idea. Let's take a look. Yes. <laughs> the more we know about Hillitrols, the better. True. True. I am still incredibly weirded out about Dane and Paimon not being here at all. Oh. It's like one of those walls from when that whole disaster happened in the cat, or not in the chasm, in Liwa, with the mines. Did it go in here? Yeah. Hmm, well, uh, let's head in. Sure. Unknown sanctuary. This is crazy. <laughs> Cutscene? Chasm. What a Whoa. ghastly place. Yeah. Has it always existed. I don't know. I, I swear, I've never noticed it before. Don't know, but look at that. What are those hill trolls doing? Huh. It looks like they're uh, worshipping. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes uh, walking, sometimes kneeling in worship, and, and it appears to be in earnest. Uh-huh. I've never seen anything like this in all my life. <laughs> what in the world does this place conceal? I don't know. Oh, there's only one way to find out. We move? The air here, and this creepy scene. It's eerily familiar. Like anything in the chasm? Yeah? This is weird. Can we walk past them? They won't be mad, right? Bow. Wait. Oh, they will be mad. Why are you mad? Keep praying. They're defending their prayer spot. Move, please. <laughs> I have a feeling Dane will be here. I have a feeling. Ooh, scenic. Come on, admit this is incredibly scenic. 
admit, I'm not killing these Hillitrolls. I will spare them. I don't have nothing against them. Boopy, boopy, boopy. Whoa. Whoa, it's like a gate to the abyss. Whoa! <laughs> Guys, leave me alone. Whoa! Is this oh. a teleportation device? Oh! What energy is powering it? Abyssal energy. We mean with voice. Another door resurrection. I didn't kill a Hilatro. I'm showing my empathy. They're still praying. It's kind of like they're on a track, like with the <laughs> tower defense. Alright, I don't feel bad about killing you guys, I'll be honest. I don't really care about that. Although maybe I should. Let's it on. Okay, I had to kill those. I had no choice. But I don't mind. I, I don't know what slimes... <laughs> I don't know the backstory for slimes yet, so I, I don't feel I don't feel bad about killing them. Hillitrolls, though, I do. Ooh. Scenic back turn chest! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! That's that's cool. We must admit, that's pretty damn cool. That's where they were praying earlier. Ah, uh, but I wanted to slowly walk here and experience everything. A big door. A slowly opening big door. Whoa. What? Are we going into Conria? <laughs> Is that what's happening right now? Are we? This might be it. Is it more of that upside down? stuff it is look i think hello sorry about this no hard feelings slimes pick up sure i move this is definitely flipped upside down no can i climb no i just want to open the door this technology no exist <laughs> this tech no exist though uh there's a door i assume i just walk and it'll teleport me come on champ let's go through you and me <laughs> he tried to punch me and I just left. Yeah. Um, how did I get on the ceiling? Uh huh. Did the room turn upside down or. gravity itself? I don't know. I don't know, Luvine. I don't know. We got two, though. Uh huh. Open door. Oh. Oh, wow. What the? Anything else around here? I feel like I have to stand here, just purely for- Seems like I need to find a place to insert the rune. Yeah, well, here you go. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. Wow, we- you know what- what does feel really cool to me? We are one- one-on-one -on -one with Lumine right now. It's just us. Now, yeah, that is eerie. But at the same time, that's mad cool, no? Put me back in, coach. This is a very cool area. Cool background as well. Should be able to enter this now. We open the gates. Ooh, big chest. Lucky dog circlet. I can't get over it. Very cool. Oh, it does open the gate. I was hoping it would. Oh, we're still flipped. Plunging. Bam. It's gonna open. It's another one of these triangles, by the way. I keep mentioning. Like those dragon spine enemies. That have, like, no context to them. You go first. <laughs> you jump in for- oh my! Oh yeah, that totally isn't creepy. Continue exploring. Well, I love doing that. Oh. Dane, bet. Maybe not? This is so random that we just followed a random Hillitro and now we're exploring this. Oh! Hello. A Cryo Abyss Mage. Fate has not granted you the right to enter this place. Uh-huh. An Abyss Herald. No, oh, he's not a mage, sorry. He doesn't look like someone from the Abyss Order. <sighs> Do you insist on an audience? He looks cool. Very he does well. have an Abyss fit. And I grant you the trial of destiny. Sorry, what's that? You're a bit quiet. I can't hear you. Die. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> look. Fortune Lecturer. Abyss Herald Frost. See, Abyss Herald. Decrease stamina. Nah, dude, don't do that, dude. Do, 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 do. Ow. Why would you do that? Fortune Lecturer, Secret Keeper of Fate's End. What does it feel like we're close to the end of the game? That's crazy to me. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. I need to dodge absolutely everything. I didn't. <laughs> I got nothing to deal with a Cryo Shield, by the way. This is just boss fight right here, bro. This is the end of the game. Come back here. 
Ow, he hurts, man. Man's laying the pain on me. Ah! Ah! Bro, killed the MC. It's over. Give me some. I will just eat some chicken. Okazwa specialty. Kokomi specialty. Toma specialty. Okay, it's not Toma specialty. Almost. What a fight. It really did test my, test my skills in battle. Who was that? He was... Uh, I don't know. He was... The protector of Conria. Terrifying? <laughs> I've seen similar characters before. He was a perfect being. Uh. <laughs> I'm in awe. Uh. He had the most wondrous aura. A perilous yet beautiful power. Mm -hmm. Oh, truly mesmerizing. It seems clear to me that he probably recognized some old Conria stuff and from yet, that. You were able to defeat him. Uh-huh. Oh, your strength is greater than I had imagined. <laughs> you have unconventional tastes. I have lots of combat experience. Let's continue on. I find myself growing more curious by the second and more excited. Uh-huh. Fair. Sure. Forgot about his son. Doesn't even remember him or his name. My entire squad is dead. But I revived Lumine for roleplay. For roleplay reasons, I thought Lumine would be an essential. Big room. I mean, we have had the boss fight already, I would like to say. So, there shouldn't be much more fighting. This bridge might fall apart. It feels like one of those bridges that would fall apart. But we're good. Just nothing underneath. Nothing crazy above. Continue exploring still. This is a really cool shot as well. Oh. What the? What is that? It's not even one of those nails. I think we've made it to the end. What is that thing? Wrapped in chains, hanging in midair, emanating sinister aura. There's no mistake in it. It's just like the Defiled statue. Yeah? That's so long ago. So it does have something to do with the Abyss Order. And these worshipping hill trolls remind me a little too much of the Grand Thief. Oh my god, true. Ew. Ew. Oh. This place is bad news, we gotta go. <laughs> oh. Ah, he's dead. Oh, dear creature. Oh, no. Why do you bow down? Oh, no. For fear of the unknown? Or for a power that you covet? Oh, no. Whose voice is that? It must be coming from right inside my head. Can't I hear it? Oh, dear creature. Why do you bow down? For I am no god, I am but a sinner. <laughs> a sinner? You are like a flower, born of <laughs> sin, yet pure, spotless. Wow. I know your fate well. Me? You need no longer hold back your resentment, nor accept the countless lies. This is trippy. Go forth, become a transcendent one. Rise beyond the fate bestowed upon you. Well, it's so choppy. And I shall shed a tear at the end of time, as I gaze back upon your life. Who is talking? Who in the world are you? What do these words mean? It's gone quiet. The voice, it's gone. Uh-oh. Is he your arch enemy now? Uh-oh. Uh oh. Is this how you become <laughs> an Abyss Herald? Ida? What just happened? Maybe you're mortal now. When I saw that thing, my my heart was instantly at peace. I, uh -oh. I was overcome by a, a sense of awe or, or joy, perhaps. Uh, are you alright now? I am. I feel uh, good. In fact, I I, I feel I don't know better than I did before I came in here. <laughs> How peculiar. I don't know if you want to bring this guy outside now. Something's not right about this place. We need to get out of here. Oh, uh, is that so? Uh-huh. All right. As you wish. It almost feels like he was plotting this, you know? It's weird. You leave the ominous cave and return to Ada's house. house. That... What in the world? Every time, Dane quests are crazy. I do love it. I do love me a little bit of crazy in the lore. Oh, Kari Bear! Oh, thank goodness! He's still okay! Did he bless the food? <laughs> he had the food in his pocket, didn't he? He was gonna bless that statue of the Seven. Yeah, 
Then we need to go back to the Statue of the Seven. Why are we back here? I have a strange feeling that what just happened was meant to be. Mm hmm. For this to happen right at the moment when I was dreading worshipping at a Statue of the Seven. Right. It's as if fate was calling to me. Sure. <laughs> you say that I bowed before that thing, so perhaps it might be just as effective. I thought the same. Sounds like a ridiculous idea, but if you insist... Well, I have to try. Sure. No matter what, you said it yourself. I, You're right. I have to exhaust all options. You're right. You're right. Another dose of medicine is administered to the Helotro. Uh, Kari Bear. Oh, he's gonna wake up. This is from his POV. No way! No way! No way! Nah, but I'm actually gonna sob. Papa? <laughs> Kari Bear! It's the speaking oh, Helotro! Oh my goodness, it worked! <laughs> It's a miracle! No oh, way! Oh, Bear, my dear son! I cannot believe it. You see? It worked! Kari Bear can speak again! It sure did. Where's... Mama? Oh, God. Don't look Mama at yourself in the is... mirror, also. Kari Bear, look at me. Do you know who I am? <laughs> of course. You're Papa. Oh. <laughs> Yes, yes. <laughs> salvation, sweet salvation. Yes, yes. This is this is what this feeling is. I'm worried he became mortal. By the way, I think he's gonna pass. How, how do you feel, Kari Bear? Uh, are you fully awake now? Yes. It feels like I just woke uh -oh. up from a long, long sleep. I dreamed that I was hiding in a little room. I didn't dare go out the whole time, and I didn't want to either. How is he not in shock from seeing him, his own body right now? Okay. Wait. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. My body! Yeah, okay. What happened to me? Is this... Is this me? How are you looking through the full mask, though? Papa! What's happened to me? Yeah, that's gonna be a long story. You're in for a treat. Uh, it, it, yeah. Don't panic, son. It's just... <sighs> while you were sleeping, we, we went into a fairy tale world. Uh-huh. There, there's no more Conry uh, here. Um, no more home. But, but, but... Do you know what that means? Yeah. No more red sky. Uh-huh. No more end of the world. Mm -hmm. In this world, you, you have to be a, a little monster, <laughs> but but you get to stay with Papa. Damn. Forever. Dad has some great wording. Am I dead? No. No, 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 no. Of course not. Look, Kari Bear, you, you still have Mama's scarf on your arm. <sighs> That means she's watching over you, protecting you. So how could you be dead? It's crazy that this Hilatro is talking. Really? I'm still not over it. Yes, really. You've only just woken up, and, and this must all be very confusing for you. Just mm -hmm. rest here for now. Things will get better. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, and, um... You have to promise me something. Don't talk to anyone, ever. Never take off uh, your mask. No! I really wanted to see it. Understand. Whatever happens, you mustn't take it off. Oh my god. Do you think it's like, soulbound or something? If you take it off, the Hilatrol dies? Because when we kill Hilatrols, we get the masks. Okay, Papa. I won't. I promise. I really want to see behind the mask. Father and son talk for a long while. I just seems like a changed man. Not since that day have I been so glad as I am now. Yeah. I can't believe this is really happening. Pretty unbelievable. <laughs> I knew that placing my hope in the Seven was a waste of time. <laughs> I I even worshipped at one of their statues like a, like a common fool. Never before have I humiliated myself like that. To be fair, I did make the food with Nahihi, so maybe it was still that. Once a murderer, always a murderer. 
<laughs> I was naive to think that the gods who conspired against us would ever offer redemption. I can't wait to listen to what that voice in our head said again i'm i'm so i'm i'm not entirely sure what it said anymore uh, there must be some deeper meaning but the god we saw in that cave uh -huh. now that was a truly mighty god <laughs> nothing like one of the seven uh-huh that wondrous power it mm -hmm. was truly enchanting <laughs> surely that that must have been the reason i bowed down i don't know hmm. Now then, after one besieges a god, and the god responds by answering their prayers, should they, uh, mm, do something to show their devotion? I, I think you've already paid. I don't know what with, but I think you've already paid. Piety is hardly my area of expertise. <laughs> but surely I should honor the god that has honored my wishes. It's so weird. That was not a god. That was a... Sinner? A sinner? Oh, don't be <laughs> absurd. You, you don't know a single thing about him. How and dare you, you utter such blasphemy? Mm -hmm. You and I have both witnessed his divine power. When I... have the seven worked a miracle like this before? Hmm? Fair. Never. He to is you. a god mightier than they, and yet you would call him a sinner. He call himself oh, a sinner. Preposterous. He call himself a sinner. No matter. <laughs> Believe what you will. You cannot shake my face. <laughs> I am going to pay my respects All with right. or without you. He's not coming back. He is dead. You. Fine. Go ahead. It experiences deeply affected him. Not that he was particularly stable to begin with, but this religious fervor is something else. I guess I'd better catch up with him anyway. There are monsters everywhere. I can't stand by and let them fall into their hands. Yeah. Yeah. The far side of fate. We're still in this, by the way. I need to go to the Statue of the Seven. I'm dying. Enter the cavern again? Let me go. I think going back in there, it's like, we got lucky. We got lucky one time. I'm very worried that this will not go as well. It always feels like in Genshin, there's no actions without consequences, basically. So, we're kind of dooming ourselves here. This is crazy, there's people here? You're still here? That's crazy. You're a researcher? The crazy. ecological issues in this Whoa. area require further observation and analysis. Uh-huh. You scholars and your big words. <laughs> My whole family's having a hard time with this climate. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> there's just some random convo in the middle here. Pig! Enter the cavern again. Bet it's gone. Bet it's gone. It's definitely gone, because this way was just to the chasm earlier. No, it's still there. What? That's so crazy. Give me this mushroom. He's in here already. Unknown sanctuary once again. I... I don't know. Serious statue. Do we have to walk all the way again? There's dudes again. Wait, get close to the door to... What? Party set up. Whoa! Okay, let's put Nihihi in the party. I think I should bench Dia. Okay, now we can finally inspect people. Hopefully he doesn't die before I get the read his thoughts um i think mm, was kaya there i think we could have scanned kaya from the distance maybe we do have to walk all the way again as well i need to be careful because i don't want to oh here we go is he kneeling somewhere here no no i still have to move all the way oh i can't eat him no i think he's gone after this oh, impossible yeah what happened? That's crazy. I would never have guessed this, but that's crazy. It's gone. It was right here. The hilly churl worshippers have disappeared too. Yeah. W was it all an illusion? I don't think so. It definitely had effect on your kid as well. So no, and we both had the same illusion. That's true. Yes, it, it can't have been an illusion. I still feel that awesome and wondrous awesome. power. <laughs> Flowing through my mind and body. Uh huh. It was neither illusion nor coincidence, and, and certainly no dream. <laughs> it was a wonder. Uh huh. Yes, a divine wonder. I mean, I agree with that. It was definitely a wonder. Let's go, traveler. There is surely a reason for its disappearance, and I, I do believe that someday in the future we shall see it again. You're turning into a zealot. I don't know how to pronounce it. Zealot? Zealot? Let's just get back. Could he really have been a sinner and not a god? It was his own words. 
It was his own words. You take Ida, who seems to be in a trance, back to the small house. I'm worried. I'm worried there's gonna be just a mask on the bed. Telling a kid not to do something is like the first thing they will do, no? Cory Bear? Mm -hmm. Where has he gone? Uh-oh. Oh, no, no, no. Maybe someone else came by and found him? No, I don't think so. No, no it can't have been ran. that. There's, there's no sign of a break-in and, and no sign of anyone having been here. Maybe he ran off. But why? This does not bode well. What if he's spotted by a forest ranger or an adventurer yeah, in his slain. current state? Then... Although, he's talking. We'd have to fight him first. There's no no time to lose. <gasps> Wait a minute. This isn't how we left it. The... He looked at his face. He looked. It's a mirror. There was a mirror in there. He looked at. He did it. He took off the mask. He looked at his face. He looked at his face. Oh no. Yes. Did he? Yes, he did. I told you! You can't tell a kid to do something like that. It's the first thing he'll do. <gasps> Is that why it was broken? Are we like in a samsara? Is there something? <laughs> Has it happened before? <laughs> he looked at his face. The mirror! It's broken! It was broken. It was broken. Nah, don't do this samsara stuff. What does the broken mirror mean? It means bad luck. He must have taken his mask off. Uh huh. And seen what he looks like beneath it. Yep. Uh, if he'd just done as he was told. Uh huh. Uh, we have to find him. Are we gonna see? Are we gonna see? Maybe there's nothing under the mask. I wanna see under Hillishaw mask too. Philibert, whatever your name is. What's this? Investigate. Uh, I'm standing on it. Perfect. Actually perfect investigation work. It's his scarf. He dropped it. It's a handkerchief. It's not even a scarf. Uh, looks like we're going the right way. Uh, come on. He's... Oh, he's he's infiltrated the other hill trolls. He's hanging out with them, as if he is one of them. Uh, Paimon Dane! Uh, Help! Bear, where are you? Philibert, Kari Barrett, same thing. Oh! There's dudes and dudettes. <laughs> Curses! Forest rangers. Filthy people that keep other people safe. How dare they? Hey, who are you? We haven't seen you around here before. <laughs> What's your business here? No need to be like this. Hello, what the hell? Have you seen a, uh, hilly churl? Uh, that a hilly is such churl a bad idea. Uh, come past this way. <laughs> Have you seen it? Oh my god. I asked you first. Don't make this more difficult than it needs to be. Why are forest rangers always sus of everybody? I feel like we cleared the bad people from here. I said, have you uh -oh. seen a hilly churl? <laughs> oh hey, no. whoa. Look, sir, there's no need to get so worked up. She starts getting worked up. Other person get wor gets worked up. Hey, there's no need, man. There are hilly churls everywhere. What's the big deal? We see plenty of them out here. He doesn't have the handkerchief anymore, so now we don't know who it is. Exactly. Matter of fact, we just took out a few of the back uh -oh. there. Uh-oh. Those dumb boneheads. Uh-oh. You. Calm down, calm you. down. Calm down, it's okay. Calm down. Forest Ranger Oh, there you, you go. Spawn of the seven are all the oh, same. Oh, God. I'll have your heads if you so much as laid a finger on Curry Bear. You... You're raving mad! You've got some gall coming here to our nation insulting the forest rangers! <laughs> Curse you all, oh my forest God, rangers! No. Stop it, bro, come on! Or we'll have to make you. Wow, I'm siding with them. Both sides calm down for now. Thanks to your urging. Oh my. I don't get it. Why make such a huge fuss over a few hilly churls? Makes no sense. Yeah, you're uneducated, man. You. Shh. He'd only just regained his mind. How could you do think, this to him? I don't think him? he got destroyed. I don't think that happened. So tell me, forest rangers, did you really spare none of them? <laughs> did you really take out every last hilly churl you saw? Jeez, you're really not going to let this go. Oh. Fine, you weirdo. Oh. If you must know, I there happened to cross paths with a solitary hilly churl when I left the team to, uh... <laughs> Use the toilet. Mm -hmm. I was frightened at first, but it didn't seem to have any interest in me at all. I was frightened. It was just bumbling along in that direction, so I left it alone. There's still hope. Run. <gasps> yes. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. Let's let's go. Uh, we have to find. I him. agree. Move. Bye. 
They're gonna be like, what a bunch of Wait, weirdos. Wait, you're leaving? Yep. Not even a thanks for the info, goodbye? No. No? You're just as rude. Hell no. We're just randos. You're like, what, what are you doing here? What's your business, huh? People in the forest, in the nature, you're touching grass? What is that? <laughs> Go back indoors. <laughs> there he is. Oh my god, it's a scenic hill troll. <laughs> scenic hill troll looking into the distance. Caribert. Caribert, don't do what you're thinking of. It is him. Caribert. My son. Why did you look at your face? Caribert, stop. It's me. It, it's Papa. Take off the mask. Whatever you saw, it, it was... It was all a trick. An illusion. He has to have peaked, right? Ida, I mean. I told you. This is We're him. in a fairy tale world now. <laughs> Nothing here is real. Please, this Caribert, him. come back. Oh my god. It's time to go back. This isn't him, and then the Caribert is hiding around here somewhere, and he's gonna be like, You didn't even recognize me, Dad. Caribert? It's not him. He's not responding. He's relapsed. How could this happen? He regained his mind. Oh. He, he must be able to hear me. Only temporarily? Surely. Maybe we went back into the domain and we uncursed him. Come, Curry Bear. We have to go home now. Huh. Papa's here to take you home, all right? Hold on. Something's not right with him. What has that strange power done to him? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Face? No. Papa. Oh. Uh oh. Cory Bear. Papa, I can't take it. Yeah, Please, this is Bear. this is I think what happened when you take off the mask. I'm so sorry. If only I'd known. It's all. It's all Don't too do much. it. Papa. Uh oh. <sighs> Are we gonna see it? No? You want to tease? <laughs> no! I see. I understand now. No way. Finally, it all makes sense. Please enlighten me, because I'm just more confused. That's me? Oh, it knocked me out? What happened? Did I faint? I remember Kai Bear taking off his mask, but then... Ah, traveler, you're awake. Finally, we can rejoice together. You know what? He took care of us and brought us back, which is... You know, I, I don't think he's a bad guy. Wait, no. Why am I still calling you traveler? Uh -oh. oh, I have known your true identity for some time. <laughs> he thinks we're the sinner or something, or he knows we're the sister of the sinner. I assume it's either- I don't know, dude. What do you mean, true identity? Are you okay? <laughs> I suspected it was you oh, from the beginning. Oh, oh, I oh. had to talk to you to be sure. I've never met you, though. Oh, of course you haven't. With your status, you can hardly be expected to know all of us. I love the looking back and forth, like thinking I- In any case... I've been using a fake name this entire time. Okay. <laughs> Ida is the name of a servant I once had. From the moment he said, like, you look stronger than you are, I felt like he was making, like, he was, like, gonna use us, I guess. <laughs> I trusted him, though. I still, I still feel like he's just nuts, but he's to be trusted. Maybe I'm crazy. My real name is Clotar. Clotar, okay. Clotar Alberic. <laughs> oh my god, you're... Aubrey, you can't be. You saw it too, didn't you? Unmistakable, eh? The power inside Kari Bear and uh -huh. the power of the one you call us, Sinner. Uh-huh. It was one and the same. Abyssal power. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I am positive now. It's the power of the abyss, isn't it? But this dude is, what, Kaya's dad? <laughs> oh, at long last... I have seen it with my own eyes. I haven't. I'm pissed. I didn't see anything. What happened? That is no business of yours. Uh, what do you mean? You would have never achieved this without me. A sinner. Yes. Salvation for a sinner can only come from a sinner. Oh my god. Caribert did not deserve his fate, but now... It's wonderful. 
He will be able to weave his own destiny anew. What happened to him? Born into abject sorrow, he shall now become... An Abyss Herald. The Loom of Fate. He becomes the Loom of Fate? Or just a part of it? There's that term again. The Loom of Fate. You're right about this being from the Abyss, but the Abyss is sinister and dangerous. Huh? <laughs> you will understand, mortal. Sinister? Dangerous? Uh, I'm, I'm as far as I'm aware. Oh, I never imagined that you, of all people, would deny the Abyss. Who do you think I am? How ridiculous! We once believed that you would bring new strength and hope to Conria. That's my brother. To us, you were the Abyss. A wondrous mystery far beyond our imagination and comprehension. I mean, this makes sense. I feel like that's a great definition. I do think that's how they see Ether. And the one who controls the Abyss can control everything. I don't know about that one, though. We yearned for that future. We looked to you to take us there. Uh-huh. But what did you bring us instead? I don't know. Your son taking off his mask? Oh, Prince of Conria. Hello? I'm at least a princess. <laughs> I'm at least a princess. Oh, here we go again. What did he just call me? But that's Ether, no? Wait. This our sibling? <laughs> Shocker. No! What? Was it Subsara? Traveler. Hey, traveler! Traveler! What? Don't tell me I become Ether now. Don't tell me Ether Havers become Lumine Havers. I will be pissed if you take Lumine away from me. I am mad. You're awake! Oh, thank goodness you're awake. No shot. I've dreamt all this. Get out of here. I'm Lumine, right? Oh my god. I'm always worried. Oh, I'm me. Uh, That's what I'm most worried traveler? about. Traveler? You do not realize what I just experienced. So, did we... I think, uh, if I have to, if I have to guess what just happened, we experienced just the past, what our sibling experienced, essentially. I think that's all that happened. What happened while you were unconscious? So much. Uh, so much, I'll even fade to black and put white text while I'll explain everything. I checked the ley lines nearby. It appears that the abyss tampered with them, and they've been in turmoil ever since. So then it's just ley line memories, right? Information and memories flow go. within the ley lines. What did you witness? The founder of the Abyss Order, Albury. What happened to him? You mean Clotar Albury? <laughs> oh, shit! After founding the Abyss Order, his faith in the Abyss led him to do a great many things. Well... But the curse of immortality continued to torment his body and mind. And in the end, neither his faith nor the Abyss he worshipped could save him. I see. After a hundred years, he lost his mind completely and was never seen again. Uh-huh. Yet his dark legacy lived on. The defiled statue that we encountered previously was just one perverse product of his use of abyssal power during his life. Really? Wow. And despite that, my brother ultimately sided with him, didn't he? You could say that. He wouldn't be the Abyss Order's prince otherwise. Right. Are you alright? You have a troubled look on your face. Uh, what happened? I have a story to tell you. Hmm. There you go. Your words send Dainsliff a deep thought. So you saw his memories from centuries ago. Uh huh. Through your own eyes. Uh huh. It all but defies belief. Sure. Still, as I'd suspected, the notion of the loom of fate did indeed rear its head during that time. Right. And it seems closely connected to Clotar Alberich's son, Caribert, and what happened to him. Yeah. And yet your brother never breathed a word of this incident to me. I wonder, was that the moment that he decided to go down this path? It seems like it. 
it has to be. Although, apparently he was already part of the abyss, right? Because that's when... Why else would he fake... Huh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm struggling. I, I also wish that I could know what he thought about all of this. But one thing is clear. This was not a happy memory. Indeed. Clearly, this series of events sparked a long period of deep contemplation. Uh-huh. This was where it all began. Wow. <laughs> wow. Another thing. These were our siblings' memories, right? In the ley line. So supposedly, the tree, the divine tree, should have the memories stored. But supposedly, no one can find anything about our brother's memories there. No? Or am I completely crazy? Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. There's something I need to check. I swear if the mirror is not broken now, I am what pissed. What is it? If it's about the mirror, okay, okay. I need to know what lies buried in this field. The field? What does that have to do with anything? We planted mushrooms. <laughs> I don't know. You mean here? Yeah. Well, let's start digging and see. All right. Exploration time. After some time, you and Dane discover what is buried in the field. Is you it just the sun? The Duke out of Paimon. Did, did you rebury them yet? Yeah. We're done. You can open your eyes. It must... Is it? There's no way we dug up a body. A male and female mm -hmm. skeleton. Buried together. I guess we did. Interestingly, the male skeleton appears to have been interred much later. Yeah. And it's holding a silk scarf in its hand. Yep. His Mondstadtian wife and then... Oh, the pain! But what does this mean? And how did you know that there were bodies buried here? Him? Himself? Not the Hilatro? I guess they said human body. I guess it makes sense. The bones of that man belong to Clothar. What? That's impossible. I think our brother buried him. Unless Clothar Albury finally found a way to rid himself of the curse. I mean, it's definitely something weird happened when he saw that crystal, right? Mm. This all raises far too many questions. Yeah? I need time to think. Yeah. And to search my memories for some missing pieces. I'm so mad. We're not gonna get any more lore on this for the next year. I'm so mad. We should part ways here. Nah, but... Huh? You're just gonna leave? Why? You could come with us, you know? Uh-huh. It's better that we split up for now. I think that he might have seen you. Yeah, that was probably, that was probably the sibling, huh? Who's he? You mean the voice that I heard inside my head? Yes. Uh-huh. I have my suspicions as to his identity, Okay, but I need to confirm some other details before I can be sure. You know, it's gonna be so cool going through all this again once we actually have the full, full circle. If the time is right, I will tell you when we next meet. Alright. But what do you mean that he saw the Traveler? <laughs> How is that possible? It was just a memory. It all happened hundreds of years in the past. I fear that while these things would limit anyone else, uh huh. They are no obstacle to him. Oh my god, it is the greater evil of this what? world. Why? What is he? A sinner. Alright, let's leave it there. No way. Get some rest. Goodbye. How do you expect me to rest after this, Dane? What the hell, bro? Nah, but... <laughs> nah, but... And just like that, it's back to being the two of us again, huh? It was so weird when you weren't there, but I guess it really comes down to, from now on, as soon as we're separated from Paimon, the only way to explain it is that it's not real. Because Paimon is literally always with us, and every time she's not, it's it's like some baloney. One more thing. Hmm? What is it? Please don't leave my side ever again. <laughs> it's cute. This is cute. I cannot believe it. Caribert, Chapter 3, Act 6. Whoa, what the hell? It feels like, I don't know how long that was, but it flew by, and I, I hate with Dane Quest, there's just no conclusion for anything. They drop so much crazy lore on you. Also, like, what, how about Kaya? What's Kaya? He's just... And what are the odds of me marking this place as cool place? And I, I just knew it had to do something, apparently. It was scenic. It was cool. I am in shock after that one. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I can't wait for the next part, though. Definitely. How's it going? What a, what a crazy quest. I uh, I love Dane lore so much. And the one thing I'm, I'm kind of sad about is that my PC is struggling. 
so it looked kind of poopy probably. <laughs> but the, it doesn't change the fact that the lore was absolutely insane and that the lore drop started like the first second. It keeps going till the very end. But then they always get us with the, oh, it was just a dream, bro. Oh, I don't know. And then Dane always leaves us on a cliff thinking about it. We're like Carrie Bear, you know? We're just standing there on that cliff. All I want to do is mask off, like future. I, I'm all over the place. How do you feel? What are your guys' theories? I, I, I struggle so much with thinking. It, it still keeps sounding like the seven are just bad. I don't know. We're, we're over half of the gods met now, essentially. Which is ridiculous to think about as well. I just want to understand, this is awful. We have to play until the end, they got us hooked. Either way, I always love reading what you guys think about these story quests, etc. So let me know, just based on this quest, what you think. Because I, I love reading about it and then chatting about it in the comments. It's, it's like one of my favorite things. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Dia building will be soon. Here she is. Boop, look at her. Oh, she's so pretty. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I hope to see you very soon with more spicy content. Lots of love. Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs>